Hello friends and welcome back to this mini-series. In this series, I'm going to do a deep dive on different Stardew Valley characters and try and find out their background, the inspiration for the characters, the story of the characters, and so on. I figured I would start with a common favorite character, Abigail. Abigail is a villager who lives at Pierre's General Store in Pelican Town. She is one of the 12 characters available to marry. Here is a quote from a developer update. Abigail lives at the general store with her parents. She sometimes fights with her mom, who worries about Abigail's alternative lifestyle. Her mom has the following to say, I wish Abby would dress more appropriately and stop dyeing her hair blue. She has such a wonderful natural hair color, just like her grandmother did. Oh, and I wish she'd find some wholesome interests instead of this occult nonsense she's into. You might find Abigail alone in the graveyard or maybe out in a rainstorm looking for frogs. Abigail is friends with Sam and Sebastian, who are other characters in the game, and is also a drummer in their band. One character trait that is often noted or memed about is Abigail's love of rocks. This is because when you gift her quartz or amethyst, she will say, Hey, how'd you know I was hungry? This looks delicious! Indicating that she eats rocks. Other gifts that Abigail loves are banana pudding, blackberry cobbler, chocolate cake, pufferfish, pumpkin, and spicy eel. Abigail's character design changed over the years. Here's a look from the Stardew Valley Wiki that shows her character design development into what we know now. Here are also some trivia facts about Abigail from the Stardew Valley Wiki. In her early character development, she was first depicted with blue hair, which later was changed to purple. Abigail wants a cat, but her father, Pierre, is allergic. Despite being able to play the flute, she dislikes being gifted the bone flute. Abigail has a pet guinea pig, and his name is David. If you marry her, in her farmhouse room, there will be another guinea pig she acquires when she moves in called David Jr. The original David stays at home behind in Pierre's. Even though Abigail loves blackberry cobbler, she dislikes blackberries. After building a sufficient relationship, Pierre will confess to you that he worries Abigail is not his biological daughter. While also, the wizard will mention that he believes one of the townsfolk to be his daughter. At one point in the game, Caroline will mention she used to take walks out near where the wizard's tower is. Sometimes Abigail will also stand outside the wizard's tower. However, other dialogue from Caroline will mention that she wishes her daughter didn't dye her hair, which is natural brown. In Abigail's room, she has a poster of Chrono above her bed, a character from Super Nintendo game Chrono Trigger, and her video game console appears to be a Super Nintendo. In an old Reddit thread, Concerned Ape stated, It's really cool to see Stardew on a Nintendo platform. I was obsessed with my SNES and N64 as a boy, and Nintendo will always have a special place in my heart. Perhaps this gaming console and poster in Abigail's room is an homage to his love of Nintendo. One of Abigail's heart events is triggered up north by the mountain, where you will find her playing her flute by the mountain lake. This song is called A Stillness in the Rain, Abigail's Melody, and has been playing during this video. I searched and searched and searched to see if there was any extra inspiration for Abigail's character creation, but alas, I could find none. If you know of any of Abigail's backstory or creation or inspiration that I missed, please add it in the comments below. All of this information and more can be found on her Stardew Valley wiki page. I have also added other sources in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and if you're not watching me over on Twitch, then what are you waiting for? Come join on Twitch and watch me play Stardew Valley live, twitch.tv slash theanimeathlete. I'm live almost every night, and every Friday night is community night. Thank you all so much for watching, have a good rest of your night.